Greetings. Uh, this video is designed to teach world students how to create a folder and bookmark a few websites for the class. Um, here it goes. First thing I want you to do is create a new tab. Then choose the nine squares. From the nine squares, you should find classroom. If you find it, click it like that. And then it should open. And you should really be in one of my classes. You should only have a handful of these. I have a lot of them because I created them and I belong to quite a few. Okay. Your other choice, if when you click on the nine squares and you scroll down, you don't see this little chalkboard and person looking thing. Um, the other option is this. Just type in Google Classroom. As it comes up, you can just click on it and then click. And once you're logged into your Google, again, you should have this. Uh, but if you didn't, you could hit plus and join class. But you've been joined automatically through Aries. Um, if you haven't, let me know. There is a code. Okay. That said, go ahead and just open a new tab. As you see, I live in a world with many tabs. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is how to create a folder. To create a folder on your bookmarks bar, you're going to want to right click here and add folder. Let's call this one World EL 2020. Anyone? I already have a few world folders. And then let's set, hit that folder. But you see it doesn't come up, right? A couple things are happening here. One, my bookmarks bar is showing. If you don't, if you don't see what, this little mark right here, go ahead and click the three dots. Scroll to bookmarks and make sure you've selected show bookmarks bar. You can also get it from doing control shift B. All right. So we don't see world DL anywhere, right? But if I go back to the bookmarks bar and I scroll to the bottom, because that's where everything I create is going to be, it just works to the bottom. I clearly have a lot of things. So just keep going up until you can see it. I'm going to put it just on the other side of Lodi websites. See? Boom, it came up. Double check that there's nothing in there. Just double left click on it. Um, when you're on a Chromebook, a left click is one finger. A right click is two fingers. So right, right, double, two fingers, left, one. And if you practice doing it with your left hand and your right hand, you'll remember, ideally. Okay, the first thing we wanted to book bar was classroom. It's going to show up for first period. Um, use your period of choice if you're getting this in a different period. So open it. You could have opened it that way or the join code. There is a join code I can give you if you didn't happen to get it added through Aries. There you should have. Okay. Once you're here, Will Smith, Mr. Smith, uh, go ahead and click the star. But I don't want to put it under Google Classrooms, do I? So what do I do, Smith? All right, well, I go here. If you get an option, you go World DL 2020. That's where I want to put it. If you didn't get an, that option, you choose another folder until you get, did get the right option. But I did. And just make sure it goes into the right folder. Then click Save. Then double check. Boom, it's there. The so next thing I want you to bookmark, and if this ever goes too fast for you, stop, rewind, play it again, and it'll work. The next page I want you to bookmark is the world links. These are available. I put them in the materials section of Google Classroom. See the world links page. So go ahead and click on that. Click on this hot link. That'll open up the world links page. Here, you're going to have all the links that are going to help you with the course. And so basically every link I'm going to refer to is going to be on there somehow, some way. So this is a good one to add to your world folder. This is going to help you digitally. So again, I would just choose the, the star. 
and I have it in world history, but I want it in world DL. So I'll just put world DL and I'll click done. It's there, yes. But it took it, it was in the world history one. Now it moved it. You can't have a website in more than one folder. So once you do that, it'll get moved. And so you want to keep track and uh, keep that limited. Uh, the next bookmark you want to add is the schedule. Now that we have the links page up, go ahead and click on the schedule. The schedule also is in the material section of your classroom, but it's right here. So let's just click it. Let's go ahead and open it in a new tab. Click on the URL and then right click it. Remember, right click is two. It didn't come up the way I wanted it to. So do a left click and drag and drop. That'll select it all. That's not working, is it? Another choice is once you've clicked in the URL, hit Control A. That'll select it all. Then right click, then choose copy. You can also do cop control C. All right, once you have that, well, I guess you don't even do any of that. Once it's open, just hit the star. But I don't want it in world history, do I? I want it in world DL or distance learning 2020. So I do that. Boom. Do I got three in there? No. So it failed. Why did it fail? I don't know. Let's try it again. Boom, now it worked. So you just want to keep getting them into the one folder you want. The final thing I'd like you to bookmark is your textbook. So go ahead and open a new tab. Type in clever.com. I'm going to ask a student to try to show you. Um, somewhere in your apps, you should find one that says Savas Easy Bridge. Click on it. You might have to sign in through your Google again. If you do, you do. Just do it. You might not have to. And then what you're going to choose is Savas Realize. That should take you to your book. So I have two, I should have a couple books. My issue is I got my econ and government stuff in there also. So I'm gonna have to go back through and clean it out. I'll drop to US, drop to Econ for this semester. Anyway, you should be clicking the one that has a London Bridge. Once you're there, you're in the right spot. But how do I find it again? Well, go back to Clever. And go ahead and once you've chosen, Savas Realize. I guess you could do it a couple ways. Once you choose this, you can just bookmark Clever and then go Savas, Savas. Let's bookmark Clever. And then I'll bookmark Savas, this page. Then I'll bookmark the last one. Now we'll see which one works. Let's see what happens when we do clever. It opens and eventually I could get there because I get the Savas Easy Bridge. What's happen happens when we do Savas Easy Bridge? It opens. 
what happens when I try Sophist Realize. Takes me right to the book. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click, get rid of that one. Leave Clever up there just in case. And just leave Sophist Realize. This is gonna be my best two bets for getting to the textbook. And that's it. Um, it's gonna be a Kahoot tomorrow going over all the course rules as well as the things we bookmarked and all the materials we've going over today uh, and the rest of the week just to make sure everyone's on the same page. I hope that helps. That concludes this video.